Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install and configure remote desktop services on Windows Server 2012 Standard Edition R2 release. Now before we dive into the installation part of installation and configuration of remote desktop services between Windows Server 2012 users and Windows 7 as a client, let us first of all understand what is meant by remote desktop services. Remote desktop services also known as terminal services is a server role in Windows Server that provides technologies that enable users to access session based desktops, virtual machine based desktops or applications in the data center from both within the corporate network and from the internet. Remote desktop services enable a rich fidelity desktop or application experience and helps to securely connect remote users from managed or unmanaged services. So this is regarded as a basic introduction regarding remote desktop services. If you can click over here with more, you can find this website link in the, in the video below. You can find more information regarding the Windows remote desktop services which is being given under the TechNet edition of Microsoft website. So let me click on new tab. You can find more information over here. So the website is opening some slow. So you can see that remote desktop services overview is being done with regard to server 2008 as well as the cloud platform. So the practical applications you can find that is unified administration experience, user personalization, less expensive storage and automated pooled virtual desktop management. Now let us dive into the Windows Server 2012 as well as which is taken as server and uh, Windows 7 which is taken as client. Now before we go with the practical experience, let me first of all give you some hands-on experience. So here is my Oracle VirtualBox. You can see that the Oracle, uh, that Windows Server 2012 has been installed in a fresh edition. So the computer name is Server 2K12. Windows Firewall is turned off. Remote Desktop is enabled. Remote Management is enabled. And the IP address is given manually. If I right click over here and click on Open Network Share Center. If I click on Change Network Settings, you can find over here double click and details you can find that the IP address is given as 1.1 and DNS server is also given as 1.1. Right now I am not using Active Directory installed into my server 2012. So let's start with the installation part of remote desktop services on Windows Server 2012. So what we have to do is to click on dashboard. Now over here we have to configure this local server so first of all click on add roles and features. So first of all, there is an opening page before you begin. So don't need to, uh, no need to read about it. So click on next. So we have to uh, make it for this machine. So role based or feature based installation, you have to get it default selected. So click on next. So this is a server which is given given the IP address and the operating system as well as the name of the server. So click on next. So over here, what you have to do is to search for remote desktop services. So here it is. So click over here and click on next. So no need to install anything over here. So just go with default that is called next. And under the remote desktop services, click on next. So in this page, you have to just select three options. The first is called remote desktop licensing. So click on add features. So make it sure that if any option you click and if it requires add on features, so make it sure that it is checked on. So before I proceed, let me tell you about remote desktop licensing. It manages the license required to connect to a remote desktop session host or a virtual desktop. You can use RD licensing to install issue and track the availability of licenses. So the second option which we have to click is remote desktop session host. So click on add features again. It enables a server to host remote app programs or session based desktops and the third which is very important is remote desktop web access and it requires some add-on features like ASP.NET IIS and all other basic features so click on add features so now what we have to do is to click on next so click on next again so role services we don't have to do anything so click on next so what we have to do is to check this box that is restart the destination server automatically if required so that when the installation gets completed it automatically gets restart. So you can find there is a dialog box over coming that is if a restart is required, this server restarts automatically without additional notifications. Do you want to allow automatic restart? So I click on yes. So now what we have to do is everything is being set out. So click on install. 
so it will take about two to three minutes depending on the RAM as well as the configuration of your system as you know that I am using core i7 processor with 16 GB of RAM and I've allocated 3.5 GB of RAM to this server so I'm expecting that the installation can take between two to three minutes but it will not take maximum of five minutes so till it installs let me pause the video for some time so now you can see that the services are being installed and the windows is being configured to for features update so it after that it will be restarting the windows and we will be greeted up with the terminal services under the tools option of server manager so till it restarts let me pause the video and we come back when it uh, starts the server so now you can see that the windows server has been started but it is configuring some windows features which means that everything has been installed and windows will be able to come up with more options as compared to the existing ones so it will take again time of one to two minutes depending on your configuration and uh, once it gets over we will be returning back so it is almost complete so let's go with the full screen so you can see that we have logged in again with the windows so click on keyboard and insert control alter Dell and now we have to specify the user that is administrator and give the administrator password so now we have logged in again to our Windows Server 2012 and under the server manager you can see the tools and there we have a new thing that is called terminal services so under terminal services you will find two options that is RD license diagnoser and remote desktop license manager so now what we have to do is to go to our computer management so that we can create two users uh, which can be used as uh, on the client computers in order to log into this server okay so we have clicked on the computer management so in a matter of uh, some seconds it will be opening the computer management toolbox so you can see that the server management toolbox has been opened so over here we find there is an option called local users and groups so what we have to do is to click on double click on users you will find there is only user that is administrator so what we do right click the user and we click on new user and we make two users one with the name Amit and second with the name Vikram so let's make the username with the word Amit with the password strong password as per the standards so what we do we just uh, uncheck this user must change the password and next logon so you, uh, you can just uh, uh, check off all the options or it is okay so user cannot change the password password never expires it is also good enough so let's click on create so you can see that the Amit user is being created so let's go to new user with the name Vikram okay so let's uh, again check these options so click on create so now what we have to do is to go to this group section in the group section you will find there is one option that is called remote desktop ser services remote desktop users so click on add click on advanced click on find now so I just want that Amit and Vikram should have the full access so I select both these users so both the users are selected so click on OK click on OK and click on apply click on OK so now these users have the remote access power so now everything has been done and set on the server so what we do we just go to the client now so here is our client Windows 7 so you can see over here right click over here open network services let me show you the settings if I right click and click on properties of the network properties you can find I have given second IP address that is 1.2 and 1.1 is the server IP and 1.1 DNS server is again the server IP so I click on OK and click on OK so what I have to do is to click on start and I type the command that is msdsc so I just give the server IP address that is I again type it for you 
192.168.1.1 and I click on connect. So over here we can use another account that is called with the word Amit and give the password. So I click on OK. So you can say that it is saying securing remote connection. So a dialog box will come and it will give us certificate error. So let's wait for the certificate error and then I will show you what to do. So it will take some time because it's the first time that Amit user was created and uh, it is going to log in as a remote desktop connection user. So you can see that the error has come. So we just click on view certificate. So we have to install one certificate so that this user should not face any problem in order to come again and again and to uh, log in over there. So click on install certificate, click on next, next and finish. So you can see that the import was successful with the sound of OK. So click on OK and I click on yes. So you can see that the Windows Server 2012 can be remotely accessed by this user with a remote desktop services from the client and whatever things it can be done from on the server it can be done over here also. So you can see a very beautiful interface of the server has come and we are able to access the server over here. So let us create one folder ABC. So you can see that the user is uh, able to work on the server without any hiccups. So let's go back to the server again. So you can find that everything is working perfectly well and the user is able to log on and able to work on the server. So in this video I have demonstrated how to install and configure remote desktop services on Windows Server 2012. So I hope that you do like this video. Do share with your friends. Do give this a shot of like. Thank you so much for watching.